name be glorified. Jesus, you are my Lord. Let your name be glorified. I give you glory. I give you glory. Welcome to the Bishop Simon Ihia Nacho app, a new modern way to quickly connect with Bishop Simon's ministry. From access to extended messages and ministry products to streaming worship service, you can do all of these and more with the new Bishop Simon Ihia Nacho app. You can listen to Bishop Simon's messages on radio 24 7. Listen to latest or previous sermons. Follow us on social media without leaving the app. With this free app, you get exclusive access to events, updates, and message series from Bishop Simon Ihia Nacho. The mobile app is the bridge that connects you with the ministry's activities at any time, anywhere. You can watch 24-hour online TV and on-demand videos. Get straight to our website at just a click and send in your prayer requests. Take a step further in your journey with Christ. Download the Bishop Simon Ihia Nacho's app today. Available on the Google Play and App Stores. Download it now. Praise the Lord. Welcome to UK World Evangelism Church. My name is Bishop Simon. I'm excited to come to you wherever you are. <clears throat> Remind yourself that there is no distance in the realm of the Spirit. We are connected by the Word of God. As you believe, the Bible says that all things are possible for him that believe it. The Holy Spirit is where you are. The angels are released to minister to you. Remember, it is your miracle hour. I'm excited and I'm looking forward to what God wants to do for you and for me. Before we go forward, let's take a song to worship and then we'll come back and bring the word of God. Praise the Lord. Welcome back to UK World Evangelism Church. Excited worshiping with a group in Modere, Kenya, Nairobi, under Bishop John Kahihu. We had a wonderful time, and I'm looking forward to right now what the Lord is about to do for you. Are you ready? Let's pray. Precious Father, thank you so much. Thank you for the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the Word of God. Thank you for grace given to us to minister your word. Father, thank you so much. I release your grace and mercy now. As many that will hear the sound of my voice and hear the words coming out of my mouth. Oh Lord, grant them peace, grant them grace, grant them boldness. Let them have the faith to believe your word and to receive their miracles. Thank you, precious Father. Holy Spirit, I welcome you right now. 
Come and help me to minister. I need you, Lord. Without you, I can do nothing. Holy Spirit, come and take your place with me. Walk through me, speak through me, minister through me. Touch the life of your people. Heal and deliver them, Lord, for I ask in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. I give praise and honor in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to read <clears throat> from the book of Joshua. Joshua chapter 5, I'm reading from verse 13. Joshua chapter 5 from verse 13. And the Bible says, And it came to pass, when Joshua was by Jericho, that he lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, a man stood opposite him with his sword drawn in his hand. And Joshua went to him and said to him, Are you for us or for our adversaries? So he said, No, but as commander of the army of the Lord, I have now come. Hallelujah. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and worshipped and said to him, What does my Lord say to his servant? Then the commander of the Lord army, Lord's army said to Joshua, take, take your sandals off your foot, for the place where you stand is holy. And Joshua did so. I want to look at this again. Joshua, they were preparing to enter into Jericho. They want to take Jericho as the Lord has commanded and said through Moses. They want to go in into Jericho to possess it. While they were getting ready, a man appeared and stood with his sword drawn. And then Joshua went to him and said to him, Are you for us or are you for our adversaries? The man said, No, I have come as the commander of the Lord's army. Joshua immediately fell on the ground and bowed and worshipped. He bowed and he worshipped. Then he asked the man, what do you say to your servant? What must I do? What shall I do? The first thing that the commander said to him is, take the sandals off your feet. The place where you are standing is a holy ground. Praise God. Remember this, that holiness is unto the Lord. Remember that he wants us to be holy because he is holy. Anytime we approach God close to him, the first thing he reminds us is that holiness. That holiness of the Lord. The same thing happened to Moses. When Moses saw the bush, the fire that is in the bush, why the bush did not burn. Moses turned around to have a look and drew near. The first thing the Lord said to him is to take the sandal of your feet for the place where you stand is a holy ground. I want to remind myself and I want to remind you that our calling, the place where the Lord wants us to come in communion with him is that place of holiness. We've been given the gift of righteousness through faith in Christ Jesus Christ and by it we walk out our salvation through fear and trembling and as we walk it out we are transformed into his glorious image. We are transformed into the image of God from glory to glory. That transformation is through obedience to his word. As we honor God and worship God, as we obey the word of God, our life is transformed. That transformation is holiness. God wants us to be like him. Because if we are not like him, if we approach him, there's going to be a difference. Anytime we approach God, we need to remind ourselves about His holiness. He is holy. And He wants us also to be holy. So, if we prepare ourselves and train ourselves and submit ourselves through repentance to our sins, if we allow the work of the Holy Spirit, 
If we allow the word of God in our lives, our life is being transformed. If we are not transformed, we can't approach. Today, our greatest danger is approaching the holiness of God without being mindful that God said that he will share his glory with no flesh, no man. As we approach, we need to approach knowing that he is holy. And we should be approaching from the point of holiness. If we are holy, if we have allowed ourselves to be transformed, if we have allowed ourselves to submit ourselves to the word of God, if we allow ourselves to submit to his principles and doctrines, our life is transformed. We press into that goal of perfection. That's where God is calling us. So you want to approach God? You can't approach him just the way you are. You have to approach him according to his standard. What is the standard of God? Holiness. I want to read that again. And it came to pass, when Joshua was by Jericho, that he lifted up his eyes and looked. And behold, a man stood opposite him with his sword drawn in his hand. And Joshua went to him and said to him, Are you for us or for our adversaries? So he said, No. So why no? The angel of, of the Lord, the commander of the Lord's army, has come to represent God, not man. And what he represents is righteousness. What he represents is his covenant. What he represents is his will. He's come to enforce the will, his promise, his commandment. So when God comes to your life, he is looking to enforce his will in your life. If you read the book of Proverbs, you say that many are the plans in a man's heart, but the counsel of the Lord will be established, will prevail. God has come into your life to establish his will. God came into your life to establish his plan and purposes. He did not come to establish your thinking, your feeling. He didn't come to enforce some of the ideas we have that are not in line with the will of God. He came to enforce his will. So he said to Joshua, Now I am here as the commander of the Lord's army. Meaning that when you and I are in battle, we are not alone. There are armies of heaven that are working with us. There are armies of heaven with us always. There are angels assigned to minister to us. He said, No, I have come as the commander of the Lord's army. Immediately Joshua heard that the first thing Joshua did was to offer worship. I believe that this commander couldn't be an angel because angels always will acknowledge that they cannot receive worship. Angels do not receive worship. They will ask you to worship God. So when, when he said, no, but as commander of the Lord, as the army of the Lord, I have come. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and worshipped and said to him, What does my Lord say to his servant? The fact that he did not confront Joshua on the worship side shows that this could be Jesus himself. This could be Jesus himself. He came as the commander of the lost army. I could assume that is Angel Michael. Angel, they don't receive worship. They don't acknowledge worship. They will tell you to worship God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say, so what does my Lord say to his servant? Then the commander of the lost army said to Joshua, Take your sandal off your feet for the place where you stand is holy. And Joshua did so. And Joshua obeyed. One of the greatest weaknesses in our life as believers is we find it very hard to obey the word of God. We twist the word of God. We turn it around. We help make that word to fit in into our own plan and thought and purpose. But the greatest mystery to receive greatness from God is to train yourself how to live a life of obedience. I share to myself and I share to other people that one of the greatest 
message that Mary, the mother of our Lord Jesus Christ, passed on unto the church. One of the greatest messages she did was to tell us, whatever he tells you to do, do it. Mary came near to divinity. Mary lived with divinity. Mary lived with Jesus Christ. Mary lost Jesus Christ. There are mysteries that she experienced and things she saw that helped her to say to us in John chapter 2 at the marriage at Cana. He said, whatever he tells you to do, do it. I believe that this is a summary of how we can obtain a great place, victory, open door, favor in the house of God in the things of God, in the plan of God. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. Hallelujah. Then let's go into chapter, uh, chapter 6. Let's hear. Now, the commander of the Lord's army has appeared before Joshua. Number one, to strengthen him. Number two, to encourage him. Number three, to help him know that in this battle you are fighting, you are not alone. Can I say to the same thing to you now? The Lord wants to bring encouragement into your life. The Lord wants you to know that you are not alone because he has made a promise to you. He said, I will never leave you and I will never forsake you. I will be with you always till the end of the earth. God cannot lie. Let every man be a liar, but let God be truth. God cannot lie. He's not a liar. His promises in Christ Jesus, they are yea and they are amen to the glory of God walking through us. So if you focus and look unto Jesus, your life is going to be transformed from glory to glory. So here we go. The commander of the Lord's army has appeared to Joshua to strengthen him, to encourage him, to know that the battle is not his, it's the Lord. I want to let you know that the battles you're fighting now, those battles are not yours. The battles belong to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the angel appeared, the, the, the commander appeared to Joshua to prepare Joshua to become a leader of the people, to lead them in battle. He has made a commander because he himself also is going to command his people. So he has to meet the commander himself. Having finished that ministry, and Joshua proved himself as a worthy leader. Number one, Joshua bowed to worship before the commander. Joshua obeyed the voice of the commander by removing his shoes. I want you not to depend on your own protection because sometimes our shoes make us feel comfortable. We are protected. No. Let not your confidence be on your shoes to protect you. Let your confidence be in the Lord. The Lord is your shield and your protection. Remind yourself that. The Lord is my shield and my protection. Say to yourself, the Lord is my shield and my protection. The Lord is your defense and what can man do unto you? If you have this confidence in the Lord, my brother, my sister, you will live the life of an overcomer. Chapter 6, verse 1, Jericho was securely shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. And the Lord said to Joshua, See, I have given Jericho into your hand, its kings, and the mighty men of valor. You shall march around the city, all ye men of war. You shall go around the city once. This you shall do six days. And seven priests shall bear seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark. But the seventh day you shall march around the city seven times, and the priest shall blow the trumpet. It shall be, it shall come to pass, when they make a, lie, a long blast with a ram's horn, and when you hear the sound of the trumpet, that all the people shall shout with a great shout, then the wall of the city will the wall of the city will fall down that flat. So why I'm reading this is to let you know that every victory that God is going to give to you will require certain godly instruction. 
Every breakthrough you are going to experience through your work of faith will require certain faith instruction, certain faith beliefs. I want you to know, if you read the book of Isaiah chapter 53, the Bible says he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement that makes for our peace was laid upon him and by whose stripes we we are healed. So God has provided healing. God has provided forgiveness of sin. God has provided, provided the blood of Jesus Christ. God has provided the things that you and I need to lead a godly life and to be victorious. But every step of the way will require a word of obedience to obey. Number one, you want to believe God for your healing. You need to confess that healing. By his stripes, I were healed. You have to say it. And when you say it, you have to believe it. And when you believe it, you have to give thanks to God. Hallelujah. So God began to give them instruction here. Number one, the land God has given to you is securely locked up. The promise that God has made unto you is securely locked up. The breakthrough you need is securely locked up. But if you follow the word of obedience in your work with God, you will find out that those walls of Jericho, they will fall on their own account. There are times when God will ask you to pray, you have to pray. There are times God has to say to you, shout, you have to shout. There are times God wants you to blow the trumpet, you blow the trumpet. Because each one of them are linked up according to the mystery of God in order to give you the breakthrough you need, the healing you need, the deliverance you need. But if you keep quiet and do nothing, nothing will happen. Here the commander of the Lord's army has come and commanded Joshua. Number one, let's see whether you are a leader indeed. Remove your shoes and don't depend on your own ability. Depend and trust the Lord to lead you and to protect you. He removed his shoes. Consecration. Hallelujah. Then he began to give him divine instruction. He said, you and the priest, you will walk around Jericho for six days. Imagine, six days, the whole army will march around Jericho. Say nothing, do nothing. No trumpet, but they have trumpets. Today, our life as Christians is full of disobedience. Everybody wants to do what they believe and what they think. Everybody is claiming their human right. I wish you can claim your God right. The God right you have is that the just shall live by his faith. And your faith is based on the knowledge of the word of God that you know. Today, everybody wants to do it their way. Everybody have their own teacher, but no one is following strictly the counsel and the word of God. I want to encourage you, brother, make your life count and protect yourself. God is holy. He wants you to worship him in truth and in righteousness. God wants you to approach him in holiness. God doesn't want you to come near him dressed like a masquerade, dressed like a prostitute, dressed like Jezebel's spirit. God wants you to approach him with reverence and fear of God. So wherever you are, you are hearing the sound of my voice, decide for yourself that I want my life to please God. I want to train myself in the school of obedience. And I want to walk with God in holiness and in righteousness. Determine yourself to set a godly standard for yourself, including the dress you wear, how you go out, how you come in how you speak and how you address others, how you quickly forgive people when they offend you, how you walk in love, how you also show grace to other people around you. That's a decision you have to make. And if you make that decision, God will honor you. 
God will respect you. God will give you grace to navigate the difficult paths of life. You will see answer come to you when you need it. My God, my God. So here God said, I have given you Jericho. Look at it. Now Jericho was securely shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. And the Lord said to Joshua, See, I have given Jericho into your hands, his king and the mighty men of valor. You shall march. God has given it to you, but there are still steps of faith that you and I must take. God wants you to walk around the walls, not in fear, but in faith. God wants you to do what he has asked you to do. First day, second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day, sixth day, and then on the seventh day. Now there will be noise. There will be action. And there will be manifestation. There will be a demonstration of the power of God after you have done what God has commanded you to do. Having done all to stand, stand therefore. If you have not done all to stand, don't stand. Do the things God has asked you to do and you will see the miracles of God. You will see the power of God. I want to encourage you, if you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, this is your great opportunity to call on His name. The Bible says, whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, he shall be saved. If you want to give your life to Jesus, pray this short prayer with me. Pray with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I welcome you into my heart to be my Lord and Savior. Father, I ask you for forgiveness for every sin I have committed, knowingly and unknowingly. Today I repent and ask for mercy. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He died on the cross of Calvary. He was buried and he rose again. I confess this with my mouth and I believe it with my heart. I am born again, not because of what I've done, but because of what Jesus did. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for saving me. I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. If you made that prayer, the Bible said that if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things has passed away and all things has become new. If you made that confession, if you made that prayer, your name is written in the Lamb's book of life. Your sins are forgiven. The burdens on your shoulder are, are lifted. God has shown you mercy and grace. You are now one of the children of God here on the earth. If you made that prayer, believe with your heart, your sins are forgiven. I'm going to take a short break and then I'm going to come back to you and continue this program. God bless you. Bishop Simon Ihia Nacho app, a new modern way to quickly connect with Bishop Simon's ministry. From access to extended messages and ministry products to streaming worship service, you can do all of these and more with the new Bishop Simon Ihia Nacho app. 
You can listen to Bishop Simon's messages on radio 24-7. Listen to latest or previous sermons. Follow us on social media without leaving the app. With this free app, you get exclusive access to events, updates, and message series from Bishop Simon Ihia Nacho. The mobile app is the bridge that connects you with the ministry's activities at any time, anywhere. You can watch 24-hour online TV and on-demand videos. Get straight to our website at just a click and send in your prayer requests. Take a step further in your journey with Christ. Download the Bishop Simon Ihia Nachos app today. Available on the Google Play and App Stores. Download it now. Praise the Lord. Welcome back to UK World Evangelism Church. My name is Bishop Simon. I am excited. Wherever you are, the Lord is teaching us and training us in the school of obedience because that is what releases the power and the glory of God over us. When we walk in obedience, you know that we missed it as a creation of God's work on earth at the Garden of Eden. When we failed at the school of obedience, the whole humanity was sold to Satan. And Satan took over governance of this world. Now, all that are redeemed of the Lord that live here, by faith, will take back what was stolen from us, by faith in Christ Jesus Christ. As we demonstrate our faith, we are able to take back what the enemy has taken back from us. I am here for this miracle hour, number one, to encourage you, number two, to pray with you so that the things that you have a desire that God can do, God will do it for you. So if you pick your phone and call, I will pray for you. And I believe that when we pray, the word of God will be established because God cannot lie. Say, whatsoever two or three shall agree as touching unto heaven, it shall be established for them. So when we pray, you and I, to God becomes the third personality. Hallelujah. I want to be able to encourage you. Pick your phone and call. If you're sick in your body and you want me to pray for you. If you have a special need and you believe God can do it, why can't we agree together on that matter and lift it before the Lord and trust the Lord to honor his word by answering our prayer and granting you your heart desire. Whatever it is, whatever it is, nothing is impossible with the God we serve. There is nothing impossible. There is nothing impossible with the God we serve. So I want to encourage you, pick your phone and call. Let's pray together. Amen. Let's pray together. So let's go back again in the book of Joshua. <clears throat> Now Jericho was securely shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. And the Lord said to Joshua, See, I have given Jericho into your hand, his king and the mighty men of valor. You shall march around the city, all ye men of war. You shall go around the city once. This you shall do six days, and seven priests shall bear seven trumpets of ram's horn before the ark. But the seventh day, yes, caller. Hello, caller. Hello, and the pastor. Yes. And, uh, my my son got the uh, and. Uh, Kidney and a stone, gold stone in the kidney, uh -huh. and a honey and the tummy, uh -huh. and a very poor leaf and a pain, heavy, full of pain. Yes. Thank you, pray, please. Yes, let us pray now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray for your son. I command every sickness, every affliction in his body to leave him right now in the name of Jesus. I use you as a point of contact and I lay my hands on you and through you I lay my hands on him. I command every sickness in his body to leave him now in the name of Jesus. I command the attack of the enemy over your son to go right now in the name of Jesus. I break the chains of darkness over him. I destroy the power of the enemy. 
I lose him and I declare him set free now. In Jesus' mighty name, shout amen. Amen. Shout amen. it again. Shout amen. again. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. God bless Thank you. you Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Bye-bye. God bless you. Amen. Wherever you are, pick your phone and call because when you call, you are honoring God and your faith is what is being demonstrated. Without faith, it is impossible to please God without faith. Faith is to trust, to believe. Faith is to have confidence. Faith is to rely, to depend on a person. That's why when you approach God, the first thing he does is to ask you to remove your shoe, meaning don't depend on your own protection. Don't depend on yourself alone. Depend on God. Put your trust in God. Put your trust that when you approach God, His holiness will radiate to deal with sicknesses and disease. And then the powers of the enemy will be chased out of your life and your family. Wherever you are, remind yourself that nothing is impossible with God. Nothing is impossible with God. All you need is to believe. Believe that all things are possible. Believe that the word of God is true. I am asking you to pick your phone and call. Then I pray with you. Just like the commander of the Lord's army said to Joshua, remove your shoes. The place where you stand is a holy ground. And Joshua obeyed. And then he began to give Joshua divine instruction, divine keys. If you are going to achieve success, God will give you direction. God will give you instruction. God will give you counsel. As you honor and obey the counsel and the instructions of God. Amazing. Results will be coming out. Breakthroughs will come to you. Healing and deliverance will come to you. Wherever you are, as you are looking at me and hearing the sound of my voice, I want to remind you that I am not here in my name. I am not here in my power. I am here in the name of Jesus Christ. I am here to declare the word of God and to bring it to you. If only you believe what you hear, all things are possible. If only you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He died on the cross of Calvary. He was buried and he rose again. If only you will believe, you will be saved, you will be delivered. For with the heart we believe unto salvation, and with the mouth confession is made. If only you can believe, all things are possible. Hallelujah. I say all things are possible. I say what? All things are possible. Praise God Almighty. So here, the commander of the Lord's army has appeared to Joshua. And haven't appeared, Joshua took notice of him. As I'm here on this television program right now, whether you see me on the YouTube, whether you see me on the Facebook, or on this live broadcast, wherever you are seeing me, take notice that I'm not here in my name. I am here in the name of the Lord, declaring the name of Jesus Christ, declaring the salvation of Jesus Christ, declaring the forgiveness of sin through his blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary. Declaring his love displayed when he took your shame, when he took all your reproach, all your infirmities, when he carried it on all of them on his body and nailed them on the cross. Now through faith and by faith in his name, you can be saved, you can be delivered, you can be healed. I am here declaring that the anointing of the Holy Spirit is upon me to preach this gospel. I am not here alone in my name. I am here in the name of Jesus. I am here by the authority of God Almighty. I am here by the anointing of the Holy Spirit given to me to pray for the sick, to encourage those that are weak, and to help you to enter your place in life. So I am here trying to do the will of God. So it is up to you to respond back. I remember that Jesus gave a bottle of oil to his disciples and sent them out. He said, wherever you go, they receive you. Stay there. Pray for the sick. Anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous availed much. I believe with all my heart 
that as we pray, God will honor our prayer and grant you your heart desire. I believe that the Holy Spirit is present and he's waiting for you to take a step of faith because when you take a step of faith, then the miracle begin to take place. So if we read the scripture we are reading, it says, now Jericho was securely shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. And the Lord said to Joshua, See, I have given Jericho into your hand, his king and the mighty men of valor. God has given it to you, but they are securely locked up. So much so that you cannot enter, you cannot touch, you cannot receive the answer you are desiring, the things you are knocking. Something has been given to you, but the enemy will not allow you to get it until you take a step of faith. Hallelujah. So God, by his word, gives us revelation and divine instruction to follow. When we follow it, God shows up. Amazing grace. He said, you shall march around the city, all ye men of war. You shall go around the city once. This you shall do six days. Imagine if you were one of those soldiers ready for battle. But the instruction your leader is giving to you is that every day we are going to march around Jericho. Say nothing, do nothing. Just march around it. If you are that person today, you'll be saying, I don't think my leader understands what he's saying. I don't think he understands the instruction of war. I think he's doing the wrong thing. You will try to do it your way. But before your leader, Joshua, comes into the scene, he has a communion with the commander of the Lord's army. And the commander of the Lord's army is giving him instruction and he's trying to pass the same instruction to you. One of the things the enemy is doing to destroy us as believers is to lead us through the path of disobedience. Everyone claiming they are right. Everyone thinking they know better. And yet, it is God who gave the church, the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the teachers and the pastors. It is God that gave those offices. The enemy said to you, you don't have any need of them. When you follow that instruction, you are in rebellion against the command of God. Ephesians chapter 4, for he who ascended on high, before he ascended on high, he also descended to the lower parts of the earth. When he ascended on high, he obtained gifts and he gave gifts to men. To some he gave apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. So God is the one that established the fivefold ministry gifts. And each of those gifts have God's power, God's wisdom, and God's ability in them to administer the things of grace and the things of salvation. And to be able to shepherd the flock of Jesus Christ, to equip and to strengthen them. So if the devil wants to deceive you, he will say to you, you don't need one. You don't need their counsel. You know better. The kingdom of God is in your heart. Yes, the kingdom is in your heart, but under leadership, under the command of the commander. The commander showed up. Before Joshua, Joshua was the commander, but when the commander showed up, Joshua fell on his face and worshipped. The true commander is our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. We need to put our trust in him and believe him and trust him and honor him and obey his word and follow his instruction and follow his counsel, doing his will day by day. Number one, forgive one another as I have forgiven you. Hallelujah. Run away from sin. Run away from anger and bitterness. Run away from unforgiveness. Run away from contention. Run away from rivalry. Run away from that which defiles it. Be holy, for I am holy, commands us by the Lord. God wants you to live a holy life. He wants you to live a holy life. Run away from sexual immorality. Run away from fornication. Run away from worldliness. Run away from self-grandization. Run away from that which exhausts self, self-righteousness. 
run away from it. These are some of the things the Lord wants us to take note of. And some of us in our dressing, in our appearance, let us approach with moderation. Let us not do things like the people in the world, act like the people in the world, and yet call on the name of the Lord. If you approach the Lord, the first thing he will say to you is, take off your shoes. Take off your dependence on yourself. Self-righteousness. Take away that which defies you. Stay in the corner of holiness. Walk in the road of holiness. Approach God because God is holy. Be holy as you approach him. Don't approach him based on your self-righteousness, which is like a field to rag before God. If you approach God, remind yourself he is holy. And anything that is unholy does not approach. Hallelujah. You shall march around the city, all ye men of war. You shall go around it. You shall go around the city once. This you shall do six days. Clear instruction. And even priests and seven priests shall bear seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark. But the seventh day you shall march around the city seven times, and the priest shall blow the trumpets. Imagine on the day they were supposed to enter and fight a battle. That very day, the commandment is that they should march around the city seven times. If you are skilled, like myself, I would have said to the men, today you are going to fight. I don't want to weary you. I don't want you to be tired. You are not going to walk around this place seven times because you'll be weary and tired. But on the very day they were supposed to fight the battle, they walked around that city seven times. Showing that you cannot depend on your strength. You have to depend on the strength of the Lord. He giveth strength to the weak. The Lord gives strength to those who are weak. On the day they were supposed to fight, their commandment is for them to walk around the, the city seven times before they blow a trumpet round. And then they shout as loud as they can shout. By this alone, a whole wall of Jericho collapsed giving them free access to enter that city. It is not by power, it is not by might, but it is by my spirit, saith the Lord. If you put your trust in yourself, the arm of flesh will fail. If you put your trust in the Lord, the Bible said that those that put their trust in the Lord, they are like Mount Zion. Akabarabahataya. They are like Mount Zion, which cannot fail. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surround those that put their trust in him. I want you to know it is not by your power. It is not by your mind. Thank God that majority of us, we can pray and pray fervently. We can fast and fast fervently. But don't allow any of these activities to deceive you, thinking that you can put trust in them. You put your trust in the Lord. You put your confidence in the Lord. You obey the word of God. You honor the word of God. You fear God. Don't give excuses because of what other people are doing. Do it because you believe in the Lord. You trust the Lord and you are special. You are the redeemed of the Lord. You are not ordinary. You are not like the people in the world. Do it according to the way of the Lord. Don't do it according to your own thought and your own feeling. Refuse to be offended. Jesus said that offense will surely come. But blessed is he that is not offended of me. Refuse to be offended. Run away from anger. Because people will provoke you with anger so you become angry. Because when you become angry, you lose the joy of the Lord. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. So run away from anger and receive the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah. Yes, scholar. To accept the call, press 1 for more options. Hello, caller. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello, hello. How are you, man of God? 
Ah, we are thankful. And how are you? I'm not too bad. Praise God. Praise God. Yeah. Is that Bishop Simon? That's Bishop Simon, all right. Yeah, I'm calling from Fulham. Yes, I know your voice very well. Yeah, I need a prayer from my heart. I've been having a heart issue, breathing issue. Stretch your hands to me. Father, I lay my hands on the body of your daughter right now. You are having your heart going up and down. Papishating. Okay. I, I say you are experiencing your heart as if it's going up and down. It wants to leave you. I rebuke okay. that attack of that enemy over you now. I rebuke okay. that attack over you now in the name of Jesus. Okay. I release the healing power of God over your heart. And I release a restoration of your heart. I command the comfort of the Holy Spirit, the comfort of the Word of God, to indwell you right now. Everything that is attacking you as a spirit, I bind them and I break their power right now in the name of Jesus. I destroy every yoke of darkness surrounding your life and your body now. I destroy it in the name of Jesus. Be made whole in the name of Jesus. Be made whole right now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, receive your restoration. Receive a restoration now. In amen. Jesus' mighty name, shout amen. amen. Shout amen. Shout amen. amen. In the name of Jesus. It is done. God bless you, my dear sister. God bless you. Praise God. Amen. Wherever you are, my time is running. If you have any need and you want us to pray, if you want us to pray, call right now. The Lord will answer and honor our prayer concerning yourself and your needs in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for as many that are watching this program. Thank you as many that have chosen to walk in obedience before you. Thank you for as many that have chosen to run away from sin and unrighteousness. Thank you for those who desire to walk in holiness before you. Thank you for those that desire humility and love. Thank you for those who want to walk by your grace, not by the strength of their own arm and by their own self-righteousness. Thank you for as many that are hearing the sound of my voice and they want to say no to the devil. And they want to say yes to the work of the Holy Spirit. Father, thank you for their lives. I am praying for them right now. I am lifting them up before you right now, O oh Lord. I resist every force of health attacking their body. I resist every force of health attacking their, 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 their mind, their soul. I rebuke sickness. I rebuke sickness. I rebuke sickness to leave you. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I break every yoke of darkness attacking your life. I destroy every power of the enemy against your life, against your family, against your children. I break the power of Satan over you. I lose you. I demand your freedom. I break every yoke of witchcraft, every yoke of idolatry. I destroy the power of divination, sorcery over your life. Every conspiracy of the enemy over you, I pull them down right now and I destroy them now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every assignment of death over your life, I rebuke it and I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Every weapon the devil has formed against you, I break it now. I destroy it now and I lose you now in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare unto you, arise and shine, for the glory of the Lord is risen over you. Arise and shine, for the glory and the power of God is upon you. Be healed. Be set free. Be healed. Be set free. Be healed. Be set free from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Be made whole right now as you hear the sound of my voice, wherever you are. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Father, I cover your people with the blood of Jesus. I cover your heart, your mind, your soul with the blood of Jesus. I cover your spirit, your body with the blood of Jesus. I release the anointing of the Holy Ghost to quicken you right now and strengthen you and recover you to your strength in the name of Jesus. Be made whole. Be set free. Be made whole. Be set free. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen and amen. I want to encourage you, go to your local church, attend your local church, support your local church, encourage your pastor, help with your tithe and your offerings, let them be able to pay for the building you are using and pay for the expenses of your church. Make sure you stand in righteousness before God. Walk in holiness before God. God is holy and he wants us to walk in holiness. And the root of holiness is obedience to the word of God. I bless you today in Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome to the Bishop Simon Ihia Nacho app, a new modern way to quickly connect with Bishop Simon's ministry. From access to extended messages and ministry products to streaming worship service, you can do all of these and more with the new Bishop Simon Ihia Nacho app. You can listen to Bishop Simon's messages on radio 24 seven. Listen to latest or previous sermons. Follow us on social media without leaving the app. With this free app, you get exclusive access to events, updates, and message series from Bishop Simon Ihia Nacho. The mobile app is the bridge that connects you with the ministry's activities at any time, anywhere. You can watch 24-hour online TV and on-demand videos. Get straight to our website at just a click and send in your prayer requests. Take a step further in your journey with Christ. Download the Bishop Simon Ihia Nacho's app today. Available on the Google Play and App Stores. Download it now.